Hello, my name is Rustam Nuryum. On the 2nd of August I turned 60 years old. I have a degree in economics, and the previous 38 years of my career have been within the system of state statistics. This year I've retired from the civil service. Now I am working on projects of an online encyclopedia in the languages of the peoples of Russia. I have been volunteering with the Wikimedia movement since 2005. Since January 2006, I have been an administrator of the Bashkir Wikipedia. Since 2015, I have been a member of the Wikimedians of Bashkortostan user group. The Bashkirs are a Kipchak Turkic ethnic group indigenous to Russia. They are concentrated in Bashkortostan, a republic of the Russian Federation and in the broader historical region of Bajkord, which spans both sides of the Ural Mountains, where Eastern Europe meets North Asia. Most Bashkirs speak the Bashkir language closely related to the Tatar and Kazakh languages, which belong to the Kipchak branch of the Turkic languages. They share historical and cultural affinities with the broader Turkic peoples. Bashkirs are mainly Sunni Muslims of the Hanafi Madhab. Previously nomadic and fiercely independent, the Bashkirs gradually came under Russian rule beginning in the 16th century. They have since played a major role through the history of Russia, culminating in their autonomous status within the Russian Empire, Soviet Union and post-Soviet Russia. The Bashkir Autonomous Republic was founded by Zaki Validikin. Bashkir historian, Turkologist, and leader of the Bashkir Revolutionary and Liberation Movement, Doctor of Philosophy, Professor, Honorary Doctor of the University of Manchester. One hundred years ago, Zaki Validikin bequeathed his people to remain neutral. We are not red, we are not white, we are Bashkirs. He also bequeathed to preserve his native language and religion. Wikipedia allows us to preserve and develop our native Bashkir language. The first article in the Bashkir Wikipedia was written on April 16, 2005. Today the project has over 63,000 articles containing 27 million words. Over the course of these 18 years, Bashkir Wikipedia articles were edited by more than 3,000 people. The most active of them are people of the older generation. These are mainly retired writers, journalists and teachers. We are proud that Catherine Marr praised Bashkir Wiki grannies at Wikimania 2019 in Stockholm. The audience applauded them then. Let's applaud them again. Wiki grannies will be pleased. Thank you. The development strategy of the Bashkir Wikipedia stands on three pillars. First, popular Wikipedia also needs popularization. Second, Wikipedians are rare. You need to search for them. Wikipedia should be a scientific encyclopedia. The first, popular Wikipedia also needs popularization. Friends, one shouldn't hope that a reader or a future editor will be able or willing to discover and master Wikipedia principles and policies. Society needs to be constantly explained and reminded about them. Therefore, we engage in regular outreach. We give lectures and presentations at forums and conferences. Wiki conferences also attract public attention. In 2015, we held the first forum of Bashkir Wikimedians. It was time to coincide with the 10th anniversary of the Bashkir Wikipedia. The forum was held at Bashkir State University. 111 people took part in it. There were participants from Poland, Estonia, Ukraine, Kazakhstan, Israel, and the Philippines, and Wikimedians of Bashkir, Udmur, Tatar, Saka, Tiva, Lesjan, Siberian Tatar, Russian Wikipedia. There were many teachers from schools of districts and cities of the Republic of Bashkortostan. We actively cooperate with the media. Every two, three months we publish press releases in Bashinform, the principal news agency of Bashkortostan. Through them this information is distributed throughout the Republic. Articles are published in newspapers and magazines, broadcasts on radio and television are initiated. There were over a hundred of media mentions of Bashkir Wikipedia in these 18 years. What does popularization give us? It increases project awareness and recognition by society. 
This helps attract new and retain existing volunteers. Second, a dedicated Wikipedian is not a mass phenomenon. Volunteering is not about permanent engagement. Regular changes in the composition of participants is a natural process. Someone starting or ceasing to edit is not really noticeable for large projects with thousands of active volunteers. For small language projects, the arrival of one editor is a great joyous event and leaving is a major disaster. Therefore, we have to constantly look for and attract new volunteers. Waiting for them to join by themselves is not an option. Volunteers must be found, trained and motivated. Do we manage to find Wikipedians and how do we do it? We haven't come up with anything new. We are constantly on the lookout for best international practices and integrating them into our routine. We are trying to improve these methods and apply them more actively. We regularly hold wiki meetings, trainings, seminars, conferences and contests. During the pandemic we started an online wiki school. We warmly welcome each new participant. We award virtual medals and orders to active participants. Volunteers are very much motivated by third-party recognition and encouragement of their achievements. We participate and win various contests outside of Wikipedia. We also recommend individuals to be recognized by state and public awards of the Republic of Bashkortostan. We organize official awarding ceremonies. 30 of the most active editors were awarded letters of thanks, certificates of honor, orders and medals. 10 editors were awarded the highest award of the World Karel Thai Congress, Bashkir NGO. In the year of our coming of age, we have decided to establish a real medal of the Bashkir Wikipedia. This one is awarded to active volunteers who have made a significant contribution towards the development of the project. It is also awarded to partners who have provided significant scientific, organizational, informational and financial assistance to volunteers. A group of activists from the Berzyansky district formed their own district wiki club. They conduct introductory lectures and master classes for school children and adults. They use any district level mass event to talk about the possibilities of Wikipedia. The district administration has adopted a decision mandating municipal institutions to support the development of the free encyclopedia. We hold thematic article drives and give valuable gifts to active participants. The largest competition was called Bashkortostan 100. Bashkortostan 100 is a big intellectual super wiki marathon for creating and improving Wikipedia articles about Bashkortostan, as well as uploading free images into commons. The super wiki marathon was created with the aim of popularizing the Bashkir language on Wikipedia, promoting Bashkir topics in other language sections and was organized in honor of the celebration of the 100th anniversary of the agreement on independence between the government of Russia and the government of Bashkria. The intellectual super wiki marathon Bashkortostan 100 began on September 11, 2016 and ended on March 23, 2019. The marathon consisted of five stages of 100 days each. 92 editors of Bashkir, Belarusian, Beryat, Georgian, Greek, Lesgian, Luxembourg, Crimean Tatar, Mari, Russian, Tatar, Tuvan, Persia, Ukrainian, Chechen, Azerbaijani, Armenian Wikipedia took part in the wiki marathon. 50 people wrote in Bashkir, 47 people wrote in other languages, including 5 people wrote in several languages. It resulted in creation of 5,462 articles, including 3,844 in Bashkir, 1,618 in other languages, as well as uploading of 427 photos. The Third Direction Wikipedia is an encyclopedia. An encyclopedia is a body of scientific knowledge. Any encyclopedia starts with a list of article titles. Bashkir Wikipedia adheres to a single list of mandatory and recommended articles. We select high-quality scientific articles in other language sections and translate them into Bashkir. We actively use the Content Translation Wiki Translation Workstation. 
and we would like to use this opportunity to express our sincere gratitude to its developers. The large volume of translated Wikipedia articles allowed Bashkir language inclusion into NLLB 200 Unified Artificial Intelligence Model. It helps Bashkir programmers to develop new applications. We are proud that Wikipedia content helped Bashkir to become part of global computational linguistics projects. We have also developed a Bashkrika list of articles about Bashkartostan and the Bashkars. We recommend these articles for creation or translation as a part of Sea Spring and Wikipedia Asian Month contests. We are active in them annually, from the very beginning. Thus, our small community of volunteers is engaged in the preservation and development of the Bashkar language. Bashkar Wikipedia is today the largest and most visited site with free content in the Bashkar language. We observe how society actively uses the content of the Bashkar Wikipedia. We are happy to see the fruits of our efforts to be in demand. However, it is likely that some of our volunteers will cease editing Wikimedia projects. Their concerns are related to the recent legislative changes in my country. Thus I would request your understanding towards the birth of Ruiki project. This new online encyclopedia is sharing the ideals of free licensing of knowledge. It also contributes to the preservation and development of more than 100 languages of the indigenous peoples of Russia. This concludes my speech. Thanks for your attention. Yeah, if you guys have questions, um, I can volunteer to translate. Um, excellent. Спасибо. <laughs> Please go ahead. If you want, you can use the mic uh, over there. Is this session being live streamed? If, if yes, we should probably use the mic. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate uh, what you have done for the uh, in Basker uh, Wikipedia. So uh, my name is Rima. I'm from Indonesia. Uh, one thing I want to ask is uh, after viewing your presentation, there, uh, uh, how do you uh, keep the new volunteers to keep contributing in Wikipedia or other Wikimedia projects? Because sometimes, uh, in my experience. Uh, Sometimes uh, several of uh, the participants, in, like in our trainers, in, like in our trainings events, uh, they uh, come and they uh, receive our training. But after that, uh, it's hard to keep them to keep editing the whether it is Wikipedia or Wikipedia like that. Uh, so uh, I don't know whether this this just our culture. Uh, I want to know uh, your experience in keeping the the, the new the new participants in those trainings to keep editing and keep contributing to Wikimedia projects. Thank you. Thank you. Спасибо большое. Меня зовут Рима. Я из Индонезии. Спасибо за презентацию. Вопрос такой: как у вас получается новых редакторов? как бы убедить оставаться в проекте, потому что в моем опыте мы проводим тренинги, люди приходят, участвуют, потом как бы не продолжают работать. Как у вас получается новичков как бы уговорить остаться в проекте? Ротация волонтеров – это естественный процесс, от него никуда не деться. Если 3-4% от обучаемого остаются, это прекрасная цифра. На это не надо как бы зацикливаться. Но мы мотивируем, что благодаря Википедии мы башкирский язык выводим на мировое информационное пространство. Основной нас мотив в этом. Actually, it's a natural process. If like three to four percent of part of the participants remain on on the on the project, is it's like a good achievement, but. Uh, in, in our experience, we kind of really focus on the fact that this project helps us to promote our language um, and kind of, you know, um, promote our language and culture and let the whole world know about us. That's why um, we really focus on that aspect. But uh, again, it's kind of a um, natural process and we kind of know it in advance um, that we will not be able to kind of uh, keep everyone who has attended a session or two on, on editing or contributing. <laughs> any, any, any more questions?
please. Um, you can use this one, this mic. Good morning, everyone. I'm Obi Ezilo from Nigeria. Um, while you were presenting, you mentioned about national medal. I believe that is from your government, um, government of the country. And if, if it is so, how did you get the government to get involved in your Wikipedia projects and movement? Uh -huh. Um, вы говорили про медаль. Это государственная медаль была в начале или понятно? Спасибо за вопрос. Очень интересно. Я ждал его. <laughs> Это медаль народная. Мы обратились к народу башкирскому с разрешением э, учредить народную медаль и проголосовать. Значит, они народ очень активно голосовал. И мы учредили народный, народный общественный медаль от имени волонтеров, от имени народа вручаем самым активным волонтерам и нашим <coughs> партнерам, которые нам помогают в организационном, информационном и других материальном плане, помогают нашему развитию. Вот это государственная медаль, а та медаль общественная, наша, башки, волонтерская. Uh, thanks for the question. I was kind of expecting this question. <laughs> um, so it's not a state medal. Uh, it's a community medal. Can I call it a community medal? Um, so we have like, once we reach community consensus, um, it's based on a community consensus. If it's basically given to our partners who have helped the project a lot or like very active uh, contributors, um, it's purely based on community decision basically, but the one uh, that I have been awarded, the one I have here is a state medal, but that's kind of separate what I have done myself, basically. Any more questions? Uh, the time is over, yeah? Вот тут я привез башкирские сладости, пожалуйста, угощайтесь. Thanks, I brought some uh, the Bashkir sweets, please enjoy. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>